Now that you've explored some career planning resources and drafted a career plan, let's talk about how you can implement that plan. How can you put your career plan into action? If we refer back to the analogy of your career plan as a map, it appears that on paper the map seems pretty simple. The path to the X might seem quite obvious or straightforward, but in reality you can't see any mountains or valleys that might be between you and the X. This is also true as you think about your career plan. We will all experience both highs and lows throughout our careers, and this is normal. Our community is here to support each of you on your path to professional success. If you've engaged in a career planning activity in the past, you might leave feeling motivated and ready to succeed. But what about a week later? A month later? Do you still have that same motivation? Today, we're going to do an activity that we call Overcoming Obstacles on Your Pathway to Success. We're going to address why career success might seem so hard to achieve. It might seem scary or difficult, but we're here to work together and we will support each other and help each other on the path to career success. You might be wondering why we decided to have you do an activity that might seem scary or difficult. That's a fair question. We want you to think about this activity as a gap analysis. We'll be reflecting on where we are now and where we are heading if we continue on the path we are currently on. Then, we'll identify where we want to be and what specific strategies are needed to reach our full potential. This is an example of a gap analysis, comparing our current performance to our potential. All activities around career planning have the same goal, a behavioral shift to achieve career success. One question we want to consider is what is your motivation for change? As we do this work today, we will face some of our fears, those obstacles that we might not see coming, and we'll use that as motivation to actually implement the strategies that we crowdsource today. Sometimes identifying what we need to change is the best motivation for actually changing it. But trust us, we'll end this week in a positive place, and hopefully this will motivate you and us to make those behavioral shifts.